Hey yo, welcome back IB Development Economics students to this video lecture today. We're going over some common characteristics of developing economies. So, um, we have talked about MEDCs and LEDCs, more economically developed countries and LEDCs, less economically developed countries. And in order for uh, governments, for investors, for uh, NGOs to identify these countries and these economies that need uh, some more development, let's look, at, let's look at some common characteristics that they have. Uh, why is it important that we go over some of the common characteristics that they have? That's because in order to understand um, developing economies more and in order to measure developing economies better, we have to understand some common characteristics with de developing economies. So right here is, 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 a, is a world map, you know, the deeper the color, for example, like Sweden, Australia, Taiwan, Japan, US, Canada, Europe, you have darker colors. Well, developing economies such as India, uh, North Korea, Sub-Saharan Africa, Madagascar, they have lighter colors. That's what we call a developing economy. So what are some characteristics? Right now we have eight characteristics I want to talk about. The first one is low standards of living. Now, this is highly related to economic development. So what, once again, in our last video, we talked about the difference between economic development and uh, economic growth. The, if, if a country does not have economic growth, countries, uh, citizens, has less money, less money to spend. Therefore, they have lower standards of living. So the first uh, common characteristic of developing economies is that they have lower standards of living. Another one is that they have low levels of productivity. What do I mean by that? One farmer in America, one corn farmer in America, has access to a lot of technology, better fertilizer, better land, better corn seeds, compared to a farmer in India who perhaps doesn't have uh, adequate or, or superior machinery such as a farmer in America has. So despite both of them having the same amount of, of, of workers, perhaps uh, the American worker will be a lot more productive because it has the better tools, it has the better equipment, better fertilizer fertilizer, better uh, infrastructure. Therefore, uh, countries and economies that are developing and developing economies usually have less levels of productivity well, compared to MEDCs. Now, another one, the third characteristic of developing economies is low levels of savings. Now, what's included in low levels of savings um, once again, it's attributed to a few uh, reasons. First of all, for, take India, another uh, prime example, India, for example. India is highly, uh, is a highly cash-based society, okay? And, and they, a lot of people, a vast portion of the population does not have a bank account. So they do not save their money, they just keep it in cash. Therefore, they have low savings. Their net worth is low. Their, their paper assets, their uh, worth your net worth and uh, in, in, in monetary terms is much lower compared to MEDCs. So, okay, low savings. Now, high population growth. What do I mean by that? Um, a lot of common characteristics of High, high population growth and primary sector dominance are highly related. What's the primary sector? High, uh, primary sector is things like mining, like uh, uh, like agriculture, like uh, like cattle ranching. Right? These these are these are uh, basic um, tasks. Why? Because people in LEDCs usually do not have high access to education or high access to information that will be able allow them to do manufacturing jobs or even uh, service-based jobs. Therefore, they do primary sector. The primary sector highly dominates uh, the economy of, of LEDCs. And, uh, and when primary sectors such as agriculture dominates, high population growth occurs, seeing as how the more people, the more merrier, the more the merrier. When it comes to... Uh, um, you know, when it comes to uh, primary sectors and when it comes to you know, uh, agriculture or mining, the more workers, the better for the economy. Therefore, higher population growth is, is a very common uh, uh, characteristics of developing economies. Now, another one is unfavorable laws and policies. A, lo a lot of these examples and characteristics of, of, of developing economies are not caused by natural problems. They are really rich in natural resources. However, unfavorable laws and unfavorable policies makes, uh, makes, um, 
This economy is developing instead of having a more developed economy. Take North Korea, for example. Take、uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, for example. Really rich in natural resources, strategically positioned countries. However, unfavorable、uh, property laws, unfavorable taxation laws,、uh, corruption perhaps are very all very common characteristics within developing economies. High unemployment, underemployment. Once again, this is because of a low educated、uh, workforce and、uh, a high supply of workers. A high Supply of low skilled workers leading to uh, 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 low quality jobs and and、uh, not a lot of of employment.、Uh, even those those are who are employed are usually underemployed. Uh, a last、uh, eighth reason and, and a common characteristic for、uh, economic underdeveloped economies is、uh, low economic power on the international stage. For example, Indonesia may be taken advantage of by a stronger power in the region, such as Australia or China, where they have unfair trade practices and they cannot fight back economically. Also, another thing with with low economic power is that their exchange rates are low. And and that they don't have a highly demanded currency on the forex market, leading to less、uh, appeal and less trade power and negotiation power when it comes to matters such as trade and when it comes to matters such as、uh, economic development. So I do hope this video is helpful in explaining some caramel characteristics of developing economies.、Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.